Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did with his. <laughs> I hope I appear visually pleasant for you guys. I'm trying all that I can to make things more efficient. And I am going to introduce three new characters to you. Hair Girl, Ikaria, and Jabberwocky. Um, the main concern I have for this footage is that for you guys to understand Hair Girl, you have to understand a character known as Gold. But since I haven't introduced her to you guys as of yet, you guys would feel concerned, concerned about how Hair Girl even is if you don't get the aspect of the character Gold. So I severely apologize and I hope you guys would forgive me and such. And I'll try my best to keep it comprehensible for you guys. Just bear with me, I'm going to introduce them, you know. Hair Girl. Real name, Helena Prince. Height, 6 feet 6 inches. Weight 212 pounds. Status hero and daughter of gold. Base 2 earths. Mobile. Intelligence 3 brains. Behavior loving, protective, and willful. She's always willing to help her mother. Lethality only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses being rivaled. She is easily carried away. Powers she possesses the same powers as her mother but with all the powers of the red supergiants and not wielding a battle pan. Eyes deep green, hair deep red and flowing. Origin. Always wanting to have a daughter of her own, Gold asked the Priantrum non to give her a chance of having one, and afterwards, Gold finally became pregnant. When her new daughter was born, she decided to name her Helena, and she later asked the age-altering youth to transform her daughter into an adult. Eventually, Helena saved her mother from almost getting killed by Gold's evil counterpart, Lox. Naming herself Hair Girl, Helena would do all that's needed to help Gold with most problems in the long run. Costume? She simply wears nothing official, meaning nothing in particular. Just whatever she feels like wearing. Teams? Solitary? With her mother and other heroes. Original inspiration, Princess Rapunzel Fitzherbert. This character here is the character known as Ikaria. So, I just hope you guys could bear with me on this one as well. Ikaria. Real name unrevealed. Height, 6 feet half an inch. Weight, 170 pounds. Status, hero, and Universal Misfits member. Face, Alpha Earth, Mobile. Intelligence, Three brains. Behavior. Willful, protective, and sneaky. She's always willing to defend all innocents. Lethality. Only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses. Lack of sunlight. Powers. She possesses a pair of white bird wings that enable flight, along with a variety of solar-based powers. She also has self-resurrection. Eyes. Grayish-blue. Hair. Light gold and curly. Origin. One time, there was a currently unrevealed woman who wanted to become a professional aviator for the United States military, though she was rejected due to prejudice. However, she was experimented upon by an unknown band of scientists who infused her with bird wings and solar-based powers. Naming herself Ikaria, she flew out and saved the Alpha Earth from an oncoming space rock that could have destroyed all life by using her solar powers to melt it into nothing. Marked as a cherished hero, Ikaria was eventually hired by Faceless to become a new member of the Universal Misfits. Costume. She simply dresses in a Greek toga. Teams. Solitary. With the Universal Misfits and other heroes. Original inspiration. Icarus of Greek Mythology. For this character, you have some understanding of this creature and such. So hopefully you guys could bear with me. Jabberwocky. 
Real name inapplicable. Height 263 feet. Weight 126 tons. Status villain and threat to Wonderland. Base Wonderland and mobile. Intelligence five brains. Behavior destructive and cruel. She all he always enjoys spreading chaos. Lethality extremely lethal to most notable targets. Weaknesses. The only thing that scares him is the wrath of his beloved. Powers. He has great strength, sharp claws and teeth, long horns, has tough scales, can emit a traumatizing shriek, has wings that allow flight, and can project a variety of breath weapons. He has acute eyes that can see in the dark, can see things that are invisible, and can even see with his eyes closed. He also has acute senses, along with an uncanny sense of his surroundings. Eyes, deep red. Hair, none. Origin. One time, the Black Queen of Wonderland found a reptilian egg in the middle of the forest of mushrooms, which she decided to bring back to her castle. While there, the egg hatched out a little wormling, which is locally known as the Jabberwocky and the Black Queen decided to raise it as a weapon to destroy her heroic twin, Alice. However, the Jabberwocky had eventually betrayed her and started attacking Wonderopolis, the city capital of Wonderland. Outraged by this, the Black Queen decided to get help from Alice and her team of fairy fighters, and they successfully defeated the Jabberwocky and forced him to leave Wonderland. Recently, the Jabberwocky was having a romantic affair with the reptilian Sea Rex, despite that she's the only thing that he's scared of. Costume. He's mostly covered with red and silver scales. Team solitary with Sea Rex or other villains. Origin inspiration, the Jabberwocky. Well... I hope you guys appreciated those introductories for you guys and such. And if you want, you could um, subs like and subscribe and comment down below. It's your choice. And if you guys have any more questions and such, you could also ask them down below. I'm sorry about the confusion with the character known as Gold, but I promise that I'll eventually do it. And... Of course, I have to do this alphabetical because that's what you guys voted, so I just have to do you guys a favor by making it as so. I hope you guys have a fine um, rest of your time and such, and I hope you guys have been enjoying my uh, podcast and blog and stuff like that for past, present, and future. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Hopefully you guys have a fine time and such. Until next time, in transmission.